In this video, we're going to talk about stability calculations in Visual Foundation. Visual Foundation performs stability checks for overturning, for sliding, and for uplift. When you're in the model and load view with nothing selected, under the Modify tab, we have a category called Stability Calculations. This category allows us to set the type of cases used to do the stability checks, which are currently set at service. This value could be switched to strength. The factors of safety to use for overturning, uplift, and sliding. Whether we're going to reduce the seismic overturning moments per ASCE 7, Section 10, 12, 13.4 a sliding resistance value to be applied with the actual calculated sliding resistance due to passive and frictional forces in both the X and the Y directions. In addition, under the soil category, we can specify the friction coefficient used and the passive pressure to be used in the sliding calculation. Currently, our loads are such that if we look in the project status, the stability unity is less than 0.1 and therefore acceptable. I'm going to select my peer load, which is currently just a 10 kip vertical force, and I'm going to add a moment of 50 foot kips about the x axis. When I do that, I see immediately that my stability unity now is 2.88. Important to note, the unity value is not the factor of safety, but rather the required factor of safety divided by the actual factor of safety. If I click on the stability unity, entry in the project status, the following dialog appears. We see that overturning factor safety is 0.69, which is less than the allowable value of 2, and therefore 2 divided by 0.69 gives us the unity value of 2.87. Also note that uplift and sliding are well within their factor safety bounds. A quick way to change the footing size to improve stability is by using these adjustments on the right. We can increase the footing thickness, which is currently one foot. Increasing it by one inch, we can change that value. Similarly, we can grow both sides of the foundation by one square foot. We can increase the width by a foot, which is currently five feet, and the height by a foot. Because of the type of overturning we have, the height is going to make the best changes for us. So let's increase the footing height by one foot by clicking the plus button. And when I do that, I see that my overturning factor of safety now is going up, which is good. We're still not at two, so I'm going to keep increasing the plus button until I see my factor of safety is greater than two, and therefore the unity value is less than one. And this happens when we reach a height of 11 feet. So that's a quick way then to change foundation sizes to improve foundation stability.